Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Batman Forever S 170 Minute Schumacher Cut Explain 9 Known Cuts and Changes, Batman Forever, is one of the most controversial Batman films of all time, but Joel Schumacher S 170 Minute Cut might have been better received, as it left out many interesting scenes. Although Tim Burton s Batman Returns is now considered one of the best superhero films of all as is true of the times, it was not well received upon its release, prompting Warner Bros. to make some changes. To shake off the darkness of Batman Returns, Joel Schumacher was hired to direct, and Val Kilmer was cast as Bruce Wayne Batman, and together they set a new tone for the caped crusader in Batman Forever. Joining Kilmer as Batman were Nicole Kidman as Chase Meridian, Jim Carrey as Edward Nigma the Riddler, and Tommy Lee Jones as Harvey Dent Two-Face, and together they made Batman Forever, a camper film that still managed to retain some of the somberness of Burton S. Films. The Schumacher version of Batman Forever has not yet been released, but details about it have been revealed over the years, and here are all the known cuts and changes in the Batman Forever Director S. Cut. The Director S. Cuts are NT new, but not all of them see the light of day, and that seems to be particularly common in the superhero genre, so it is not surprising that Batman Forever has been confirmed to have a Director S. Cut but none that hasn't he been released yet. Smith didn't he provide any further details on the Schumacher cut, except that it doesn't he start with Two-Face robbing a bank, and that it doesn't he happen for about 15 minutes in the original cut. Smith also added that the copy he owns is insanely good, with temporary score and all, making him the most reliable source for the Schumacher cut of Batman forever for now. With all its extra scenes giving it a darker tone than the camper film that Batman Forever ended up having, the Schumacher cut adds 49 minutes to the film. So Schumacher's version of Batman Forever is 170 minutes long, which means it would have been a very different, 